You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, and welcome to another edition of CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, or NACA, as we call it. I had the distinct pleasure last week at presenting at NACA's annual CNA Fest. It's a two-day event for CNAs, and it's full of inspiration, motivation, and support, and a whole lot of love. My presentation was titled, Connecting with CNA Heroes, and today's CNA Hero was featured in my presentation. Every now and then in life, we meet people who are incredibly strong, determined, and fierce. This is Kim Rockwood of Massachusetts. Starting her career in healthcare in 1983, over 35 years ago, a 17 year old laundry aide working in the same nursing home where her mother worked. Kim's mother was a nurse aide working nights and putting herself through nursing school. Kim's first nursing assistant position was on a dementia unit. She received little training, yet she endured. Over the years as her children were born, her experience as a CNA broadened. She became certified in restorative nursing and also medications. She worked a schedule that allowed her to be a mother and to be available to her children. In 2007, Kim's husband, only 40 years old, was diagnosed with end-stage melanoma that had spread to his lymph nodes. She used her years of experience and education to provide care for him, despite the emotional toll it took on her. Kim states, Numerous surgeries that completely and totally disfigured a once vibrant athletic man resulted in wound care and several dressing changes each day. Radiation and chemotherapy left the man I loved even sicker rather than help him. And finally, she said it was time to accept the fact that he wasn't going to get well. Kim's mother, a great source of support for her, encouraged her that it was time to start letting go. It was at this moment that Kim learned about hospice care. Her husband died with dignity and respect at home with Kim by his side at the age of 41. Again in 2016, Kim's rock, her mother, suffered a massive stroke. Once again, the caregiver kicked in. Kim drove 23 hours to be with her. For three weeks, Kim took care of her mother around the clock until she passed away. Just two weeks after Kim's mother passed away, she moved her mother-in-law in with her. She had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2013 and Kim had promised her late husband she would take care of his mother. Her condition worsened and her health declined. Once again, Kim turned to hospice and sat with her mother-in-law as she too gained her angel wings. Kim is currently raising her two grandsons and even bakes birthday cakes for the residents. She said she kisses the residents goodnight on the forehead and sings somewhere over the rainbow when giving showers. She's a fantastic CNA, both on the job and off. Kim Rockwood, you're one of the strongest people I know. I admire your tenacity, your determination, and all the love you have to give. Please everyone join me in celebrating Kim Rockwood, CNA Hero.